Randor Park residences and C Pavilion residences were launched in either 2017 or 2018. Both are now sold out. Wow. Hey guys, welcome to a special edition of Otox. In this episode, we want to hone in on an area in Singapore's east side that's getting lots of attention in 2022. It's Tanamera, which is already home to a number of condos, but also where you'll find an upcoming new launch mixed-use development slated to be completed in 2026. What we want to talk about today is market trends in District 16. There are actually a good number of condos already surrounding the new launch, so let's take a look at some of the numbers to see if Tanamera is a safe bet for both investors and families looking for a new home. How are the condos in that area doing? Are they doing well, selling well, and have they shown growth and promise in the last few years? That's what we have looked at and broken down for you guys today. Let's go. Let's start with introducing the new launch we are talking about, which is now called Tanamera Kachol Link after where it is. Now, the actual name has not been revealed yet and we're still waiting for the permanent name and we will let you know once it has been revealed. So keep following Oh My Home for more details. We have an Oh My Home board of facts to share with you about this new launch. It's a 99 year leasehold condo. And like we mentioned, it is a mixed use development with residential and commercial components. A crucial point to note is the developer, which is none other than, whoops, MCC Land, guys. This was a very popular land parcel. Take a look at this. Many parties fought hard to get this project with 15 developers taking part in a bidding war. More details about this development are, it will have 265 units with a commercial component. A great plus point about this, it's also going to be right next to Tanamera MRT, which is a huge draw for the developers as well as potential residents at this new property. Okay. Now for the analysis. In order for you to take a look at the price trends and growth prospects of this condo, Oh My Home has looked into several condos surrounding the Tan America Chill Link site to help you see and judge its potential. All right, so here's a map for you to see where everything is. This land parcel is where the new launch is, right here. And you can see that these condos are surrounding it. Now what we want to know, are they doing well? This is what we have seen so far. Let's take a look at three adjacent condos, all these adjacent condos, starting with Urban Vista. It's fairly new at only about six years old. And like the new launch, it's also a 99 year leasehold, though larger with 582 units. Looking at sales, transactions were below 20 units year on year until recently in 2021, when 33 units were sold. The Optima, another nearby condo, is also 99-year leasehold and about the same size as Kachol Link new launch at under 300 units. There were 65 transactions at the Optima between 2016 to 2021. As you can see, the table shows a slow but steady increase in demand over the last three years. And finally, let's look at Casamera. The 99-year leasehold with 556 units hit a peak of 34 transactions in 2017. Sales have picked up again since 2019, with 28 transactions being recorded in 2021. Let's focus on new launches now. Both Randor Park residences and C Pavilion residences were launched in either 2017 or 2018. Both are now sold out, with Grandeur Park residences being a large project of 720 units. So what can we tell from this? Judging by these trends, interest and demand for projects in District 16 has been consistent throughout the years. 99-year leasehold condos in this area, whether small or large, are selling and faring well. That's why with this latest Tanamera new launch, we can expect pent-up demand to feel a good amount of interest for this project. 
And finally, let's talk prices. Among the districts in the East region, District 16's prices are relatively lower and positioned reasonably. This is especially the case for new launches in the district. Take a look. Looking at the average resale unit prices, we can clearly see that the prices in District 16 hold a premium in the East region as well. This is crucial if you're determining future reinvestment potential. So that's Oh My Home's take on why Tan America could be a great place to invest in property. Patterns show that the attractive price points make the upcoming Tan America Kachil project a worthy investment. Plus, how well the surrounding condos have been doing, especially in the last two years, is a good indicator as to why we think this is a safe bet for those who are investing or looking for a new home in a thriving town like Tanamera. If you're interested in finding out more about this upcoming project, don't hesitate to WhatsApp us to ask any questions. We'll be sure to connect you with the right super agent who can help you get your dream home. For more property insights, updates, and guides, do visit our website right here on our blog. We have articles up every week with topics ranging from which new launch condos you should buy, to more in-depth analysis on the market movement. And of course, follow us on social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. That's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Keep your eyes peeled for the next episode. You definitely don't want to miss it. Bye.